Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And this episode, I'm assuming they've reached Lior, but last time we learned a lot about their backstories. Uh, Ed and Al's, we learned how Al lost his body, how Ed lost his arm and leg, and we saw him, a whole bunch of information just get crammed into his head by this godlike figure. Um, not sure I entirely trust everything the god fig godlike figure said, but... Um, it now has his leg, and I assume his ar arm. And uh, we learned about Winry. She's super cute. Um, the grandmother, their <laughs> grandmother and Al uh, and Ed's relationship is super funny. Drink your milk, you microscopic shrimp. Um, and then we saw Roy and how he got everybody. He got the brothers into working for the military to try to get their bodies back. And we also saw Winry and Rize. Uh, have a moment which of understanding, which is really interesting. And yeah, I'm excited to see more. Uh, they're probably in Lior by now and looking for the Philosopher's Stone. Philosophers? Yeah, Philosophers. I will never not get confused uh, whether or not it's Philosophers or Sorcerers. Sorcerers. Um, but anyway, if you want to watch the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. We're also a week ahead of that. Uh, a week ahead of YouTube there as well. But yeah, let's get started. Oh. Why is she moving? So what are you guys, like street performers or something? Seriously, do we look like street performers to you? Ooh! Hey! Easy, I didn't mean nothing by it. Interesting. There, see? How's that? You've been touched by the sun god, just like Father Cornello. Sun god. It's not a miracle. It's alchemy. The full metal alchemist, Edward Elwood. They think it's... They think it's... Al. What? You mean it's the little guy there? Those little come here and say that to my face, I dare ya! And the waves of people. Resurrect the dead. His miracles are proof that what he says Resurrect is true. the dead. Hmm. Is there a religious commentary here? Oh. What? Those aren't even the same th compounds. Hmm. He should have only been able to transmute that flower into an object of equal mass. And he's changing organic matter into inorganic matter. Yeah. He shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, there's just one way. Bingo. Bingo, bango. Bing pots. I beg of you. Please bring him back. If we believe in divine grace, then through him all things are possible. Yeah, there's you definitely some. Surely that would bless you and make you grow taller. What's that supposed to mean? Easy, brother. She's just trying to help. <sighs> what about bringing the dead back to life? Ammonia, 4 liters. Lime, 1.5 kilograms. Phosphorus, 800 grams. Salt, 250 Her face. grams. Saltpeter, 100 grams. And various other trace elements. <laughs> it's ironic, really, hmm. that through the application of science, we have in many ways been given the power to play gods ourselves. So you're putting yourself on the same level as God? That's just sheer arrogance! <laughs> I'm sorry, miss. This is difficult for me to ask. But do you think your father, Cornello, could even save an arrogant scientist like me? Of course, that's wonderful! Oh if God. anyone can lead you to the Creator's light, he can! They would only give their names as the Elric brothers. I can't be bothered now, just send them away. Wait, the Elrics? You're sure that's what they said? You're positive? Yes, Father, that's what they This voice acting. Themselves. No mistake. This that voice acting was real bad right there. We won't take too much of his time. Good, then it's agreed. We'll make this quick. Ooh. <laughs> Brother Cray, what is this? What do you think you're doing? And let's make this quick! <laughs> what you're doubting I see as alchemy are the miracles <laughs> of the sun god Leto. Look again, could mere alchemy create something from nothing in this way? If you'd somehow managed to acquire a certain object to amplify your alchemy, one that's said to make the impossible possible, that would explain everything. What? I'm talking about the Philosopher's Stone. Your ring. That's it, isn't it? That gun there beside you. Uh... Okay. Now, child, I want you to shoot the full metal alchemist. <laughs> no, I... Mother, I can't do that. Shoot him, Rose. It's God's will. You're gonna... 
Why hesitate? When you lost your fiance to that tragic accident last year, who was it that saved you from the very depths of despair? It was I who took your hand and led you into God's light. And do you recall what it was I promised you then? You said if I had faith, you'd bring him back to life! Solid. Yeah, see? No harm done. <laughs> this unholy thing is an abomination. Evil of this kind must be purged. You just had her try to murder someone. And I believe my chimera should be up to the task. Chimera. <laughs> Looks like I'll need a weapon. No transmutation circle. No transmutation circle? <laughs> Your little spear is no match for Chimera Claws that tear through wire! <laughs> you shredded my pants. <laughs> Ooh. I guess those claws don't do so good against steel. You like that, kitty? Go on, get a good taste! Teeth shattered, maybe? No. Wow. It's all becoming clear now. Human transmutation. You did it, didn't you? The one thing even the most novice alchemist knows is strictly forbidden! Why don't you come down here and try me? I'll show you real quick who the novice is. Cool. Old metal alchemist. In their arrogance, they tried to bring someone dead back to life. He thought he could touch the sun, but when he got too close, his wings melted and he came crashing back down to Earth. If you fools are really so eager to play God, then perhaps I should send you to beat him instead! Ooh. A wall? Yeah. Yeah. God, we don't get along too well. This way. <laughs> A door. <laughs> the way they're running. Stand there after them. These heathen seek to harm the order. Just come quietly. We don't want to have to rub you up. <laughs> oh man. Just because he's a kid, you got that? We're not evil. All we wanted was to see our mom smile again. What we made wasn't even human. People don't come back from the dead. Not ever. I just want to help him get his body back to the way it was. He wants to find a way to get me back to normal too. It won't be easy. We might even get killed along the way. That's the path we chose. Just because you and your brother failed, that doesn't mean... It doesn't mean he will! There you are, you infernal brat! Look, can we just cut the crap and talk here? You could do anything with the Philosopher's Stone, right? So why waste all that power performing phony miracles? I'm slowly building an army, a legion of holy warriors unafraid to die. And I'll use the Philosopher's Stone to tear this country apart. <laughs> yeah, what are you laughing about? I knew it. You really are a novice, aren't you? Uh, ah. <laughs> oh. You don't mean that. Oh, they use the bell to amplify. Miracles, Rose. He lied to you. He lied to everyone. Sorry, not today. Just face it. You're outclassed here. Ooh. It's a rebound. Now, boy, behold, the chosen emissary of the sun god Leto! Fist of God, huh? Well, if that's what you want, you can have it! Boom. Nice. Got used up. The stone. 
It's supposed to be perfect material. How did it just break like that? It's a damn fake. Please don't! I'm helpless uh... without the stone! Spare me, please! You mean we went through all this, risked our lives for this one possible chance, and it's a fake? <laughs> so, uh, what about me? Knock him out. I don't care what you do, just get out of here! You shouldn't get locked up. I'm sorry, Al. For a while there, I thought we'd really found a way to get your body back. Give me the Philosopher's Stone! Those. Like I was just saying, it was a fake. It wasn't real. Besides, it's shattered now. Liar! You want to keep it for yourself, don't you? And so you can try to bring your mother back again! You shut up! People don't come back from the dead, Rose. But he promised me. He said if I prayed it would happen. Why am I supposed to believe it now? Tell me what to do. Please! I can't tell you that. You have to figure it out. Stand up and walk. Keep moving forward. You've got two good legs, so use them. You're strong enough to make your own path. <sighs> I knew we should have just incited a little rebellion. Oof. You. I'm hungry, last. Can I eat the old man, please? He's big and fat. Eat the Help old man. We don't want you giving yourself indigestion. Now you two, everyone has mocked me! I won't stand for- Whoa! I'd say this concludes our business. Father won't be pleased. She said no eating. It's time we started thinking- Father. They've got the same tattoo. Alright guys, so the Elric brothers finally get to Lior after two episodes, and they're searching for the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, they come across the charlatan who's taken over the city with his miracles. Uh, they believe People believe he can revive people from the dead. And I'm very curious if the mangaka, the person who wrote the manga, um, if they thought it'd be a good storyline, or if it goes deeper than that, and he and they believe that religion is like this on a more like realistic scale, with, like without the alchemy and the miracles. Um, at the very least, they're asking people to be a little bit more discerning and choose carefully when to trust someone, uh, and to, yeah. Uh, and they did, like, a really interesting, like, split-screen thing when Ed and Rose were arguing about religion and reviving people. It was just, I think it was a good way to just show how, like, diametrically opposed they are, uh, in their philosophy. And, yeah, she, <laughs> Ed pretends to want to be saved oh can you he saved a heathen even like me even after saying like oh like i'm not a god godly person and she like immediately buys into it just because i guess she i don't know i don't know how to feel about rose as a person just because she seemed to want to help him uh which but then like when push came to shove she was willing to pull a gun on ed and al for selfish reasons which <sighs> I mean, like the first time, I don't know if she meant to shoot Al in the first, like the first time she pulled the gun, like, it felt like she was like so scared and then she like closed her eyes and I'm not sure if she like meant to pull the trigger or not. Luckily, it only hit Al who can't really die. Um, I don't know, actually, like it hit his head and it, like the armor, like the armor can't seem to get destroyed. Um, even a bullet doesn't seem, just seems to like knock his helmet off, doesn't seem to even make a hole in the helmet. Maybe if the seal was destroyed, that might kill him. I'm not even sure about that, though. Like, maybe the seal is just needed for the initial bonding. Um, I mean, don't... I'm speculating. Don't need... Don't need no need to answer those questions, because that... Those just, that would be spoilers. Um, I mean, I do empathize with... Uh, with Rose, though. Like, she's gone through so much. She's losing someone, and then... Ha like, just feeling like your life is over. And she's probably very... I, I, I don't know how she old she's meant to be. Probably a teenager. Um, where your whole world like kind of revolves around... If... I guess I'm, I guess I'm making like an assumption that like the older you are, most of the time, you have more than one thing going on. And it feels like this partner of hers was like her entire life. And then after that, it's just like nothing. She's got, she's got nothing, essentially. Uh, and then she was given the hope and faith that uh, he'll be able to come back. And then getting that ripped away... Uh, finding out that it was all a hoax to control you and your city. <sighs> that, that, that's really rough. Um, yeah, she was desperate to 
get her partner back, and it drove her to uh, incredible lengths. And I'm very curious if we'll see her ever again. Um, Ed is telling her to keep walking. She's got two good feet to stand on. Uh, you keep finding something to fight for. That's what you do when things get hard. But yeah, very curious to see if we'll see her again. I'm very, uh, at the very least, I'm very curious if she'll able to take his advice and move forward in her life. And I don't know what she was, she'd do though. She'd have to find a new meaning in her life. Uh, and then Cornello, he used the Philosopher's Stone to uh, make a gun. Then it got like infused in his arm, and then he made himself like this huge, big thing. Uh, he also had a chimera, which was really interesting. Uh, it's like an amalgamation of like a bunch of different animals. Um, I think I first learned about chimeras in like Final Fantasy VII back in 1997 when I was playing that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we also, at the end, we see Gluttony again, and he's in the middle of eating that freaking Chimera, which, I mean, I don't, that that sounds super dangerous, and he's eating it raw. Uh, also winds up eating Father Cornello, he's like, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then he's with the woman I just have to assume is Lust. I mean, I guess it'd be a funny subversion of expectations if she wasn't, and it'd just be like the last person you'd expect, but uh, I'm guessing she's Lust, and they both have... Uh, the same tattoo, uh, he, Gluttony has one on his tongue, and she has one right here. It's like a dragon encircling, like, the Triforce or something, like a triangular thing. Um, not entirely sure what that's about, they're probably, I don't know if it's, like, a, just an indication that they're, they belong to the same group, or what, um, but the show definitely made it clear that they wanted us to notice it. Um, and, yeah, not sure what their goal is, they are, they were controlling Cornelio, it seems, probably provided him with the Philosopher's Stone, um, a fake one, I think my parents are calling, but I'll finish this real quick. Um, but yeah, we learned a little bit more about the Philosopher's Stone too, like the real one is a perfect material and can't be destroyed. I'm really curious what it's made of exactly, but um, like if a fake can do this much, they said it's impossible to revive someone after they die, but uh, or Ed and Al did, but I wonder if they'll be tempted if the power of the stone uh, is strong enough eventually. Uh, the joke that everyone always thinks Al is the full metal alchemist is just so funny. Uh, Al was just like, ah, when he was like being uh, chased and everything. Um, King Bradley gave Ed the name Full Metal Alchemist. Did he know Al was like a literal suit of armor and was like doing it just for laughs? Um, I guess Roy could have told him. But yeah, um, I, I find the the humor in this show like super funny uh a lot of it's just like physical humor with the way um <laughs> with the way ed and al are just like running away like yeah and then uh ed's face when he was like ee, he's like doing alchemy and like smiling really uh widely um yeah uh overall i enjoyed this episode i'm gonna give it a 7.5 um last episode was super emotional um so uh, i'm looking forward to more of that especially uh, but this one was pretty emotional too, honestly. Like, I felt really bad for Rose. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, if you want to watch the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. And we're also one week ahead uh, on there as well. So check that out if you want to. Uh, leave a like, please. That really helps me a lot. That just, yeah, it, everything on this channel is based on, on, on YouTube is based on likes. So the more likes this gets, the more traffic it gets. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.